clarinet player, but not only clarinet player knows this piece, the wonderful fantasy piece is of Robert Schumann for clarinet and piano, also played often <clears throat> and cellist and other instruments. Three pieces um, written for just house concerts. Um, the first, Zart und mit Ausdruck. What is it? It is the romantic music. Um, I think there is no, no other composer that is as romantic as Schumann with all the topos um, that are <clears throat> characterize our romantic music. So, what is it first? First, it is the special mood. <laughs> music where we have this clarity also in the rhythm it is kind of everything is like behind a shadow it's a time of longing for some something also nostalgia melancholy which we have exactly in this beginning of this wonderful series of three pieces and it's like going from the lowest point is and then it's going up this six of the minor which is also like we know it from mozart as well used as this kind of expresses the the suffering and then we have this nice structure of a melody and then the piano we have a bass clear bass and then this movement in the right hand which is going like that and it's actually through the whole piece it's almost similar and now what I want to emphasize now in this little introduction is the singing quality of this piece. We know Schumann as one of the most famous and let's say also deep um, composers who made the Romantische Lied. Das Lied, in English the same word, um, is this where a singer goes really deeply in his soul to his emotions and it's clear it's always together with a text often about love and um, now that as a clarinet we play we have to imitate in a way a voice so what's the quality of the voice the quality of the voice is we speak, we go directly from our um, our feelings to an audience and voice is never like juk, 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 juk. it's not percussion, it's the opposite of percussion playing, it's the opposite of rhythm, is the singing, is this kind of vague and now this creates now the art of playing Schumann is not to to make any rubato you want to do that, that that the music can keep his strength but of course totally free totally free and it it is so important that a pianist and a clarinet player can really spontaneously make rubati little accelerandi written down the waiting nice transitions where it is asked if we have we can once exaggerate and here the piano takes the melody see here 
how this is a dialogue between a voice and a pianist and the voice is the, the clarinet. If we jump a little bit to the last movement, huh? um, and then we have this this kind of incredible energy in the music, and where it's almost going jazzy. <laughs> Attraction, and then, and even going more than in the last, in the ending of the piece in the coda, where the piano gets totally virtuosic. And then typical clarinet. Just plays. Oh, so difficult. Yeah, you choose your job. Sometimes on purpose, sometimes just like that. Clarinet, we know the difficulty we have to sing on our instrument, which is not a voice. We have to give a voice to our instrument and we have to, with this only easy lines, we have like to compete or to, 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 to come to, to have the same intensity like a piano, which can, can do so much more with this um, many notes. <laughs> 